and welcome to India today. I am Sanjay Konappa and this is Maruti Acharya and it's a pretty good week for all the South Indian film fans, cine fans because there are a couple of big releases that is happening this weekend which is Children's Day as well. Yes. One of them is the big magnum opus film that the whole country has been waiting for for almost over a year now. Yeah, and pa- for the past two, three months, the team is also aggressively promoting going to every movie corner of the country and taking their movie and promoting it, which is a very good thing. Yes. I really like that movie. Yes. Yeah. The film that we are talking about is Kangua, starring Surya and Vavidiol and Disha <laughs> and Disha and Disha Bhattani and yeah and Disha Bhattani and the movie is directed by Siva. Yes. Siva. Siva. Yeah. Talking about this film, the first thing that comes to mind, it's been there since the film was announced and the first glimpse had come out is that this could either be a huge hit, turn out to become something like a Bahubali hmm. or could be a big miss. This couldn't become a Magadira or a Rafta. Fair, fair. While we are talking about this, what what is the biggest advantage for this film? What could make it a hit is from the trailer, everything, it is very obvious that this is going to be a visual treat. Correct. Cinematography to visual effects, all the VFX and the graphic work that has been done, that has been shown to us, seems to be exquisite, especially the whole tribal setting, which Correct. is going to be the major part of this film. Beautiful. As when we are talking about what we've seen in the trailer. The visuals based on the promotional material are amazing. In the sense that a lot of the... In the recent times, we have seen, we have seen a lot of big budget movies where a lot of money went into it, a lot of yeah. VFX. This movie is a little different because I also see the practical sets, uh, you know, all of that, which is also very, very important. And this the visual effects in the movie is also not like, because we can't compare with Hollywood budgets, it's okay, it's fine, it's good with the budget. That's not how I felt. I genuinely felt that the visual effects are pretty good, especially based on the promotional material. But... Another important thing is, with the visual, there is a beautiful vision. So it's not just how the frame looks, it's about the set design, prop work, character development, world building, material. There are a lot of things, colors, especially with the promotional material, that red saturation and all of that. It was beautifully done. The movie is about power, promise, hope, betrayal. So all of that, the vision looks big which is going to promise the big cinematic experience that we've been waiting for from yeah. Surya. Other than story, visuals, technical brilliance, world building and all of that, another important thing, beautiful thing and something that I'm really, really excited about which can take the movie to any level is Surya for sure. Because Surya is that actor where... He is know, that performer. Yeah, he is that performer where... He can take any normal scene to another level where all the other things can be overshadowed. So I I, I feel like he's like the Amar Khan of South India. Like hmm. he has that kind of range. He is diverse, versatile. His range is amazing. His vision for his film is amazing. Yes. So he's also the producer. So that shows how much of interest he has on the subject and the kind of effort he's putting with the looks. And getting the output and the way he is promoting also, it's so adorable when actor is trying so much you to take his film forward. You can see the passion he invested yeah. for the film in it. For, yeah. Yeah, Surya is definitely another flag bearer. For Surya, yes. this film could be worth it. But we were also talking about this film which could be a miss as well. Why do you think that is? For me, first thing that is that makes me worried for the film is... Mm. Sa- Sanjay be like so- talking so many positives and he'll have that Vedalam look. <laughs> Negatives coming. Yeah. Wow, Vedalam. <laughs> Let's talk about that only. The yeah. director and his previous films. Not to discredit the director, the films that he has done are good as well. They are classics. Some of them are classics. Some of them are really appreciated by the fans of a particular actor, which is Ajit. The yes. last four films. Last five films, one was Annate, his last release before Kangua. Uh, not a very nice outing for him, neither the superstar of Indian cinema. Yes. But before that, four of his films were with Ajit Kumar. Hmm. Veeram, Vedalam, Viswasam, Vivega. Hmm. Veeram, correct. All of them box office successes. Yes. None of them were failures, big successes, but they were all one particular kind of film 
which is nowhere close to what this is. Veeram, Vishwasam, Vivegam, all these movies are A, catering to fan service and B, it's the main star and the way the scenes are given to the actor and it's very actor centric, it's not about the world, character, story. If you take Veeram for example, even though there are a lot of other characters, it's mainly focusing on Ajit. So, Siva has a mark about presenting his heroes in a certain way, but when it comes to world building or he has not explored. Mm-hmm. And after Annate, genuinely guys, I am really, really scared. Yeah. So that is about the director. Another point, you know, that is similar to this is the lead character or the hero being the center focus of the film. <laughs> In all these previous films, barring Annate, even Annate, if you just look at it, the box office or whatever, it was yeah. not that big of a failed venture Correct. for the producers. They recovered whatever was invested just because of the star power there. So all these films are majorly banking on the screen presence, the charisma and the uh, fans of Correct. these central stars, which is Thala Ajit and Thalaiva Rajnikant, right? Here, for the kind of scale that the film is mounted on, mm-hmm. for the kind of world that is built there, if all the pressure and all the weight is only on Surya mm-hmm. to carry, will it be enough is the big point. Because we uh, previously compared the film with Bahubali and in Bahubali it was not just a Prabhas show. Correct. Rana Raghupati had equal amount of contribution. Uh, Ramya Krishnan playing Shivagami Devi had equal amount of contribution. Katapa by Satyaraj had equal amount of contribution. Uh, Anushka Shetty had equal contribution. In the first part, Tamanna had equal contribution. Correct. Every character, every main character had that, you know, this is very important for the film to proceed and they were shown in that particular way it was yes. not just on prabhas can this is this what is going to happen in kangua or will it all fall on surya's back is the major question and that kind of worries me too these kind of movies right big world building bigger picture bigger canvas what is very important is, is that either you stick to a very character driven approach or the world building the drama is the core so you will use your main character as a lead to follow the story but the story has a lot of other elements also so that becomes very important when you are showing a bigger movies like this but yeah so every character needs equal importance and contribution to the proceedings of the story another big reason why i feel like this could be a miss is you know the way Especially after watching the recent release trailer, the two worlds which are fully in contrast with each other. We already know that the film is going to show almost two hours of the tribal setting, what Correct. happens in those days. But what the whole intercut or you know the contrast between the two worlds was a little disconnecting for me personally. Mm-hmm. When I saw the trailer, it felt like, okay, I'm enjoying this, but then this is happening. Then. Should I look at this, but then it is going here. But that was basically how the trailer was cut. So if the film, they've said that the first 20 minutes is this, and then they go into the tribal setting for almost two hours. If they come back for a climax in the present world, Hmm. will that be good? Is another thing that I am thinking about. Because in the uh, trailer, we can see this whole action sequence on a plane. Plane, Surya's Francis character. I am just worried that that should not be the, what if that is the climax and that I am so invested in the tribal setting that I am not able to enjoy this fully. I am not even thinking about the 10 looks rumor or the different setting rumor of Surya in different time frames. Hmm. Just the two that they have showed, I am a little worried if they are not able to Hmm. engage the audience with both the settings. Yeah, because the segue is very important. I I really like the idea of choosing those time frames and how to blend it. Hmm. But the thing is, the blend it is very important. That becomes the crucial part of it. If you feel like this is a piece, this is a piece and the emotional book is not strong. It's just two beautiful separate pieces which are not coming together. Which is where, you know, the main point of execution and presentation comes. That is the biggest you know, point of contention which could lead this film towards being a massive hit or a miss. 
other than all of this one important thing that i wanted to talk about is it is very very important for all of us in general to support good cinema good attempt genuine and honest attempts i really feel like kangoo is a very honest attempt where you can see that genuine intention to take the cinema forward and i've grown up watching tamil movies and i know what kind of talent tamil cinema is but now in contemporary if you look at the reach yes there are movies there are filmmakers who has pan india appeal but again theatrical success and people coming and watching their movies in theater is less in comparison to the other movies but the industry has a lot of potential especially now with kangua surya is trying the team is trying everybody is trying so hard to take this movie everywhere i hear there is some theater issues also happening in tamil nadu they have already postponed it because of wait time and now they are releasing so they have been considerate consistently and planning a release where the movie will have that kind of reach it is again your opinion but i still feel that you know for the attempt a lot of times like recently we got a lot of backlash for bahira review especially i got it but with that movie also the point is there are flaws but for the execution and what they have achieved with the movie i think that movie also deserves a watch yes so similarly kangoo also we are very very interested we will try to catch the first show as possible and give you the review and public reaction celebrations were also as, as early as possible we'll try to bring all of those videos out for you guys to then watch us listen to us also look at everything that yeah. the film has presented all the interviews the kind of passion that is being shown by the lead actor surya everything that the whole team has spoken about in the uh, promotion campaign then take a decision again even without watching the film i can say that this is definitely going to be a theatrical experience for sure so i'd say just book the tickets and see or yes if you wait for us yeah maybe for us also yeah that also but for that you need to subscribe like this video so that you understood what we are trying to do here and share it with your friends so that even they know what we are doing so whatever are your predictions your positives negatives what do you think about surya kangua movie release trailer all of that mention that in the comments below with that this is maruti acharya and i am sanjay ponappa and with camera person afri you watching india today thank you so much